Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. Today's Countdown to Columbia webinar is hosted by Columbia Housing and will be presenting an overview of life in the residence halls. This webinar will be recorded and posted on the Countdown to Columbia website for on-demand viewing. We'll start today by introducing the members of our team who've joined today's presentation, as well as the role that our department plays within the Columbia community. Then we'll talk about where you can find more information about your room and building, including an overview of prohibited items and our decoration policy. Next, we'll talk about expectations for residential students, specifically around maintaining your space. We'll close the presentation with a discussion of online and in-person resources. Uh, I'd like to introduce myself. Uh, my name is John Pozzola. I am the Associate Director of Management Operations in Columbia Housing. And a must have for moving in for me would be comfortable walking shoes to explore all the great things in New York City. Hello everyone. My name is Greg Rebos, Executive Director of Student Mail and Transportation Services. And my must have move in is Apple TV or Fire Stick for those rainy nights. Hi everyone, my name is Justin Cottrell. I'm an Assistant Director for Housing Systems here at Columbia University. My must have move in item is a good pair of headphones for when you need to kind of shut things out and focus on the task at hand. Unfortunately, my colleague Mia is unable to join the webinar, but she stressed that I must share that her move in item is a large umbrella for when it's, uh, when you have to deal with those rainy days in the city. Uh, Columbia Housing provides on-campus housing for all eligible undergraduate Columbia College and engineering students. Our portfolio includes more than 30 buildings with a variety of amenities and layouts. We manage the physical buildings and student assignments process and partner with Columbia Residential Life who oversees community building in the residence halls. Now that you know more about our department, let's talk about your building. Our website includes dedicated web pages for each building in our portfolio. The building page includes floor plans and fire safety plans, room and bathroom styles, building amenities, and more. You can also see photos of student rooms and communal spaces. One of the most important pieces of information on the page is cleaning responsibility. In some buildings, you may be responsible for cleaning your own bathroom. We'll talk about more about this later in the presentation. Entry to residence halls across campus is restricted to undergraduate residential Columbia students and university support staff. This means that residential students have access to all Columbia housing buildings, except our brownstones. When you enter a building, you'll need to tap in at a, at a public safety desk. Guard desks are at all first year buildings and most upper class buildings. Room entry is typically coded onto your student ID card, also known as your CUID. If you live in Hartley or Woodbridge, your room will use a hard key instead. New residential students will get their CUIDs and hard key, if applicable, at check-in later this month. Every room at Columbia Housing is furnished with the following items. A twin extra-large mattress and bed frame, desk and chair, chest of drawers, wardrobe or closet, trash can, and window blinds. But there's still uh, many items you'll want to bring, like sheets, towels, toiletries, and more. If you scan the QR code at the bottom of the slide, to see our recommended list of items. There are also some items you shouldn't bring because they are prohibited in the residence halls. This table shows some of the most common prohibited items and our recommendations for a safer alternative. This is not an exhaustive list, so scan the QR code at the bottom of the slide to see the full list of items. If a prohibitive item is found in a student's room, the student will be required to get rid of it at their own expense. If you want to store a bike inside your room or an interior bike storage space, it must be a conventional pedal bike. Electric bikes and electric scooters are not allowed in the residence halls because of the lithium batteries. However, you can lock them up out on outdoor bike racks across campus. Open flame candles are also not permitted, even if you don't intend to light them, so use electric ones instead. Students should plan to bring surge protectors in place of extension cords for fire safety purposes. We'll talk a bit more about decorating your room on the next slide, but be sure to use wall safe adhesives only. This includes command hooks and blue painters tape. You will be held responsible for any wall damage in your room at checkout if you use nails or screws. As I mentioned, your room is already furnished and space is limited. We recommend that you wait until you've settled in to purchase any additional items. If you want a microwave, please run a microfridge. The microfridge is the only way to have a microwave in your room. 
It's how students can heat water in the room without an electric kettle, as those are also prohibited. More information about micro fridges is available on our website. You may also purchase a mini fridge, provided that it meets the requirements outlined on our website. Finally, if you want to have a coffee maker in your room, it must be pod style machine like a Keurig. Hot pot style coffee makers like a Mr. Coffee are a fire risk. Use the prohibited items list as a guide when it comes to bringing decorations. We love when students make their space feel like home, but safety for you and your fellow residents is our top priority. You're welcome to hang posters, pictures, and other wall art provided that you don't damage the walls. You can also hang fairy lights as long as you don't hang them from light fixtures or fire safety equipment. We also see a lot of potted plants and rugs, both of which are fine in your room. Keep in mind that what you bring in, you must also bring out. When you check out at the end of the academic year, you must move everything out of your room except the Columbia provided furniture. Now that we've talked about what's inside the room, let's transition to talk about maintaining the space. For many of you, this will be the first time you've lived away from home. While this new freedom and independence is exciting, it also comes with additional responsibility. You are responsible for keeping your room clean to an acceptable standard. This means doing regular maintenance, like taking out your trash and recycling, washing dishes, making sure food isn't left out, and cleaning the surfaces within your space so as not to attract pests. Some students may also be responsible for cleaning their bathroom, and they can confirm this on their building page. Check the cleaning responsibility and schedule section on the page to learn more. If bathroom cleaning is your responsibility, you will be provided with supplies and can request more at any point during the academic year. Cleanliness is one of the most common reasons for roommate disagreements. We provide a roommate chore chart on our website to help roommates set expectations around cleaning and residential life in RAs can also help. If bathroom cleaning is new to you, we have a helpful how to clean video on our website. Laundry may also be a new responsibility for you or your student. Laundry machines are free of charge at Columbia, but students must provide their own supplies. We recommend that students who are unfamiliar with doing laundry watch our how to do your laundry video for a helpful step-by-step -step guide. Remember to pick up your laundry promptly at the end of your cycle. If you leave it, you may lose it. Laundry rooms are cleared out weekly on Wednesday mornings. We also recommend that students download the Speed Queen laundry app before they start their first load. This app lets students check machine availability and receive push notifications to track their cycle. Starting your academic career at Columbia means joining a new community, and we hope that you treat this community with respect. That means maintaining your space, working with your roommate, picking up your laundry promptly, and so much more. If you ever need support, we offer two vital resources, the Hartley Hospitality Desk and the Guide to Living. Located in the lobby of Hartley Hall, the Hartley Desk is open 24 seven during academic periods to provide in-person, online, or over the phone support to students. Reach out to them when you're locked out of your room have a maintenance issue in your space, or need help with anything housing related. I encourage all the students watching this presentation to add the Hartley Desk number to their phones. The Guide to Living is the go-to resource for residential policies and procedures. If you're not sure where to start, start with the Guide to Living. It covers everything from decorating your room to hosting gatherings in your space, entertaining non-Columbia guests, and placing maintenance requests. Students are expected to familiarize themselves with this content before moving into Columbia Housing. Now, I'm going to pass it over to Greg, who's going to talk about another great on-campus resource, the Student Mail Center. Thanks, John. Student Mail Center, located in the lower level of Wien Hall, provides mail services for all residential undergraduate students. Although many of you have probably shipped some items to campus in advance of moving, we thought it would be helpful to include a reminder on how to format your address. It is especially important to include your uni because your uni is unique to you. Without it, we don't know which Greg Rivas or Joe Smith is the actual mail or package owner, and it would add additional time to process the item and notify you of delivery. The building code is an abbreviated form of your building name, and you can find it on the housing or mail center website. We know that online shipping forms can vary, but try to include your full uni and building code using the address one, address two, or apartment suite fields. Again, 
Failure to include your uni will result in delays in processing your packages as it will be placed in our research section, which may add a day plus to figure out who the package belongs to. All mail and packages must be shipped to the student mail center. Resident halls are not equipped to accept packages. If you ship a package to your resident hall, the item will not be delivered and the package may even be returned to sender or worse, lost or stolen. Students don't have traditional mailboxes or lockers. Instead, the mail center will send you an email when your mail or package is available for pickup. A delivery notification from Amazon, FedEx, or the courier uh, does not mean that your package is ready. On our busiest day, we receive over a thousand packages and we need time to process shipments, but we strive to process all packages within 24 hours of accepting them at the center. Again, failure to format your address appropriately will lead to delays. Please visit our website and the student mail portal to manage your packages, the packages you receive at the center. For the first two weeks of the term, package pickup will be facilitated through the East Campus Building Service Entrance which is marked in blue on the map you see below. Starting September 16th, we'll return to our normal package pickup entrance through the lower level of Wien Hall via the Wien Courtyard. For the entire month of September, we will also offer extended hours, including weekends. You can scan the QR code at the bottom of the slide to see hours and more information. Now we'll pass it back to John to close out our presentation. Thanks, Greg. If you're looking for information, I recommend that you check out our website and follow us on Instagram. All the information presented here today lives on our website. We also post regularly on social media with housing FAQs and other helpful housing tips and reminders. I just wanted to speak about two things really quick as it relates to student life on campus and as you're preparing to arrive. The first naturally is when we talk about your CUID, that is your access for a lot of things on campus. So that's gonna be access to your room, to your residence hall, to your classroom. So please make sure to always carry this with you because this will help you with your life on campus. Losing it, you have to get it replaced and it can cause delays for you to get where you need to go on campus. The only other item I wanted to touch on, as John mentioned earlier, related to the laundry rooms, please make sure you're not leaving your laundry. We work to keep the laundry room clean. Uh, about once a week, we clean out the laundry room. So make sure that you're cleaning your clothes and grabbing them in an appropriate time frame. Clothes that are left behind may be uh, picked up and donated if they are not removed from the laundry room in a timely manner. I'd also like to add from student mail, uh, we hold your packages for a maximum of 10 days. Throughout that time, you'll receive three notifications. Your initial notification that we received the package, then a second notification, and then a final notification saying the package will be returned to sender if not picked up. Uh, just one more item. Um, this webinar mostly focused on life uh, in the residence halls. If you do have any questions about move-in, uh, check-in related questions, that webinar was uh, recorded uh, this past Friday, and it will be available for you to watch later on today. Thank you again.